Okay, so say hello, Keith. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, so just a second. Uh, here we go. Never mind. Right. So where are we today? Oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to the spiritual journey, the twelfth week. Yes, twelfth week today. Um I hope you can all see me okay. We're having a little bit of problem with the internet, but that's okay. Um so welcome back to the spiritual journey, 12th week of the third year. Today's date is the 27th of November, 2021. Yes. And you can feel it in the atmosphere that Christmas is coming. Yes. The silver is building up for Christmas. So my name is David Stanley and I manage the course entitled The Spiritual Journey within the school founded in 2019 called Universal Comprehension Academy. Now, once again, we'll be looking at the flat earth theory and comparing it with the Big Bang theory and the electric universe theory. Yes. Um, let me just uh, get those papers. Oh. Right. There we go. So once again, um, there we go. So flat earth theory, which depends upon uh, electric weak negative charge. That's the flat earth theory. And you have the heliocentric model down here, which relies on gravity and mass. Yes, for its theory. And um, the other vector is the electric universe, yes, which relies on electricity to create the whole universe. Hmm. Yes, so those three, three theories, three different theories. Um, a triangle with three theories, one theory for each vector. All right, so it's very good to see you again, Keith. Yes. Now, this is the last week before half semester. Yes, we have two weeks holiday. And I'm, glad, <laughs> and I'm glad you made it this far. With all the contradictions we've looked at this year, it hasn't been easy. Yes. So time to take a deep breath and think just 12 meetings left until the end of year three and the spiritual journey. Year three. So um, I remember my third year at university and i was saying oh it's so difficult yes but i think this is much easier good yes much easier um so there we go won't be so difficult this year and uh, we're almost at the end of year three right so um please remember um, three years ago, when I founded Universal Comprehension Academy, the subject of the flat earth was far, far from my mind. However, over a two and a half year period, I did watch uh, a few flat earth videos, yes, and even met a flat earther and listened to him talking. Yes, I didn't want to judge. Um, what he was saying, as it was a, a new subject for me. Then, six months ago, I thought to myself, whatever you do, yeah, don't research flat earth. Yeah, don't. Yes, because they will have some convincing arguments. So leave it alone. Yes. And don't research flat earth. In fact, my motto became Stay safe, protect your neighbors, and don't research flat earth. Right. Yeah. 
So let me repeat that for our listeners. Stay safe, protect your neighbours, and don't research flat earth. Unless you want to comprehend the truth. Yes. So we've had a quick look at the Gleason map already um, this morning. And fortunately, I decided the only way to deal with the flat earth idea was to spend a week or so researching it and discovering for myself the whole idea. At that point, I was just like most people. I didn't know enough about it and I thought it wouldn't hurt to see the flat, to see what the flat earth experts had to say. Yeah. Um, and there were a lot of experts out there. So at the end of May 2021, just six months ago, I started studying the videos with their experts on the subject of flat earth, rather like taking a university course um, via the internet. It took three days for me to see the light. So reflecting on, on my own history, my esoteric knowledge and all the videos I'd made on astrology and astronomy, I had that eureka moment, a flash of reality. The earth is flat. Since that moment, I spent countless hours researching the subject to find answers to all these contradictions that one might have. That takes a lot of time. Um, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but mm. I've seen the light, yes? So that takes a lot of time. From there, I decided to prove it for myself. All one needs really is to understand sunsets from a flatter perspective. So let's have a look. Looking at the flatter theory from the point of view of sunsets and sun movements, the best thing to do is to get a copy of the Gleason Flat Earth Map and familiarize yourself um, with the flat earth layout, especially the Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, and the Tropic of Capricorn. You will note that they are circles that have for a center the North Pole, the South Pole being the Antarctic Circle on the map. Indeed, every direction away from the center of North Pole is sand. Next, find different places on the map, like England and Australia, Burma and Florida, um, India, and the Sahara Desert, and, and Morocco. Yes, just so you know the, uh, the map, or have a basic idea. Notice then that the Antarctic shoreline is like the edge of a giant pond and contain, contains all the seas and land masses. So with all those simple facts in mind, understand that the sun, according to the flat earth theory, is small, about 35 miles or even just two and a half miles in diameter. Yes, that this sun circles the Tropic of Cancer on the 21st of June every year at an altitude of between 10 miles and 60 miles. Although some say it's much higher um, than that. So no more than 3,200 miles high. There are many different theories as to the sun size and altitude, but it is according to the flat earth theory, close and small. So when we see the sun rise in England on the 21st of June, we can look up the times of sunrise and sunset. The day length is uh, 16 hours and 38 minutes. Sunrise on the 21st of June uh, would be 4.44 a.m. and sunset 21.22 minutes on the 21st of June, seen from England. That shows us that the sun at 4.44 a.m. is over the Yellow Sea off the coast of China, according to the, the map, yes? And um, yes, 
the Yellow Sea off the coast of China and uh, Formosa, uh, that's an island, and must travel about eight hours and 18 minutes or about 7,900 miles before it is directly over the Sahara Desert, a little south of Morocco, which in England will be its midday high noon sun time. It must then travel for about another 7,900 miles before we have sunset as seen from England. So the sun at that time, 21st of June, um, is traveling at 952 miles an hour, a small sun. At sunset in England on the 25th of June, the sun has actually passed over the coast of um, Miami in America and is over the sea in the Gulf of Mexico. If you can then imagine a coil with about 182 turns between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, that is the route the, the sun travels one turn off the coil each day. Yes, from the Tropic of Cancer, each turn of the coil is slightly bigger. So when the sun has made 90 turns or 90 days after the Tropic of Cancer circle, it is circling the equator. Considering the times for the 21st uh, September from England, dawn would be at 6, um, 18 hours and sunrise at 6.51 hours. Sunset would be at 19.02 hours and dusk at 19.35. The length of day would be 12 hours and 11 minutes. Well, it was this year, but um, for this year. Now, the estimated the speed, speed of the sun on its circle, a uh, circuit of 24 thousand miles, 864 miles, uh, the speed would be around 1,048 miles per hour. Yeah. So when we see the sunrise from England, the sun is actually over the, the coast of India and the sun set, the sun we see is over the sea off the coast of Ecuador. Yes, that's uh, in September. So 192 turns or days after the 21st of June, the small local sun is circling the Tropic of Capricorn. It is high above Australia, seen from England at high noon. And England on the 21st of December experiences its winter because the sun is far away. But Australia experiences summer because the small local side is just overhead and very close. Yes. Now, there is a short video that explains this called uh, Gleason Standard Flat Map Reveals the 24 Hour Clock. Yes. Mm -hmm. and um, we've already looked at that. Now, there is also a downloadable free Gleason map in the description of that video. And I'll put the uh, the link under the YouTube video, and it will obviously be for members on the text uh, on the video site, uh, Thinkific, Thinkific uh, Universal Comprehension Academy. Mm -hmm. So, um, so the best way to understand this is to do your own research. Although getting the flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac clock app would be a great help. Yes, and uh, there is, it, it's always being updated. It's now called the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app with Flat Earth Friend Finder. So you can find out lots of different friends. Mm. And I'll put that link under the video too. Now, all this might seem upside down and by me, but when I looked at how they do mathematics in France, I thought that was by me too. Yeah. yeah, it was all upside down. Yeah, yeah, their division in England. We when we divide something, we do the calculation yeah. under, and in France they do it over. Yeah, 
So I was kind of shocked when I saw that in France. So what we can see um, from the Gleason map is that when the sun is moving around the, uh, around the circle of the equator, it has a journey distance of, as I say, 24,864 miles. So it must be moving at 1,036 miles an hour. Now, we know the day on September 21st is the equinox, and the length of the day is 12 hours. So um, it's over four hours and 38 minutes shorter than during the summer solstice on the 21st of June. The reason for this shortening of the day is clearly because the sun is at that time farther away from England. When the sun moves out as far as possible on the 21st of December, it will circle the Tropic of Capricorn. And the diameter of that circle is about, about 32,729 miles, according to the Gleason map, or according to the calculations I've been given. So the sun must be traveling at about 1,363 miles an hour. Now, all these uh, figures are approximate, but near to being correct. Yes. Now, there's a, another link for that I will put under the um, YouTube video. Now, using the equator as a baseline at 24,901 miles in circumference, which is what I'm using, the number of the Tropic of Cancer, 18,504 miles an hour um, in circumference, and the Tropic of Capricorn, circumference 32,729 miles, are based upon the geometry of the azimuthal projection, not the actual globe. Yes, so uh, that's on the flat earth map. When the sun is circling the equator on the <coughs> equinoxes, it will be traveling at 1037 miles per hour. Now, interesting point here that is about the speed that they say in the heliocentric model that the, the, uh, the sun spins. Yes, they say it spins at about 1000 miles an hour. Okay, but um, according to the flat earth theory, it's the sun that circles, not the the planet that spins. Mm. Yeah, the the, uh, the the flat plane doesn't move, and um, you have to bear with that and look at that later. Yes, and build up your own information. Which means that at the tropical cancer, eighteen thousand uh, five hundred and four miles in circumference, the sun will be travelling at seven hundred and seventy one miles an hour. So there's different speeds. Mm -hmm. Now, um, amazing clock, yes, it's 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 our clock, and it's the clock that God designed. Okay, all we, God the Creator. Okay, all we do, all uh, sorry, although we do have a fact of man, it's from um, it's a sign point con showing me. Antarctic ice wall circumference as 49,728 miles, and Ecuador uh, circle sub, uh, circumference at 24,864 miles. And I'll put a link to that as well. It's a sign point call. Um, so now we're going to have a, a um, let, I, I drew up a, a, a little map, actually, um, a very, very simple map, um, which is quite useful for this. You can, you can see the big circle um, is the pond. This, this is the edge of the pond, the, the Antarctic circle. And this is the pond, and these are the lands within the pond. And you have 
north in the middle, Australia, um, and here you have England and Greenland it, within that small circle. Now Florida right down here, and the Tropic of Cancer, Ecuador, uh, the equator, Tropic of Capricorn. So um, it is a very good idea to familiarize yourself with the map before you, um, well, to help you with your studies. Now, time for a short video. Now, uh, this, this is a, a video and it's entitled Freemason Reveals and Explains the Shape of the Flat Earth. It's a 10 minute video, so we'll pause there and we'll have a quick watch of that. Okay, so here we go. Oh. So pause. See you in a moment. Uh, we're recording again. So, did you find that interesting, Pete? Weird, I say. A different way of looking at the world, yeah? yeah. Completely different way. So, food for thought? Mm. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, is that really the way the Freemasons see the world? Yeah. Uh, right. I appreciate it. Okay. So, Next, uh, I mean, all this is, is for us about. The first is question. Yeah. Where is this flat earth theory? Why is there no um, video of it? Um, um, up in the sky from all these objects from one they can take, and they do take what you would say is not the flat earth. And the globe which we believe we live on is not, it's not there. They must be, uh, must be lying. That's a very good question and a very good observation. Yes. Um, that we can go into another time. Yeah. Um, what they are doing is giving us a false impression of what the Earth is. And um, but you can. We're here just to look at the facts. Yes. So, well, so we'll, they're, we'll, they're, not, they're not facts and ideas, aren't they? Right. Okay. Well, Earth has no, nothing to prove to it. They are the as you say, hanging in the sky. I don't think. Okay, it's not hanging in the sky. Where is it? Ah, uh, well, it's it's within a torus field. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Know. So, and above the torus field are the waters. This, as it's mentioned in the Bible, yes, above the torus field are the waters, and below the torus field are the waters. But we'll come back to that another time. Okay. Okay. That's according to the flat earth theory. But we haven't quite finished yet. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll just um just have a, an, another look at this. Uh, an, another video fading out um, the sunset. I'll put the link under the video once again. Yeah. All right. So it pulls there. So we've had a look at that video too. And uh, once again, it's all very confusing, isn't it? No, it isn't confusing. It's just barn. Just barman. <laughs> Right. Okay. Well, we're just looking at the theory. Yeah. Yeah. We're just looking at the theory. What are we doing now? Let's go. Okay. So, um, so we can finish there for today. Yeah. Um, and I'll see you in about two weeks' time. Thank okay. And Christmas or not yet? Well, it's a very special time at the moment because it's coming up to Christmas, and so. It's always a special time. Okay, so we'll finish there. Say goodbye to goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, one and all. Goodbye. Okay, so bye for now. See you after the holidays. We've got such a thing as a 